trapezium is a quadrilateral that has only one pair of parallel sides, and that's side A and side B. We show they are parallel by putting the arrowhead on the sides. Now, if we imagine the distance between the two parallel sides to be the height, H, then the area of the trapezium can be calculated using this formula here. A half multiply the sum of the parallel side multiplied by the vertical height. So we're going to put this in the cloud for emphasis. So let's solve the first example. Here we have a trapezium with different dimensions and we got to find the area. First, we notice that the parallel sides are given 8 and 10. And then the vertical height is 5. Please notice that 6 cm, this sloping side, is not the height. So we're not going to use it. So if we solve this, already we have the formula given to us here. Okay. So the area of this trapezium is going to be half. Multiply the sum of the parallel sides A and B, and A is 8 plus B, which is 10. Of course, you put this in a bracket, then multiply this by the vertical height, that's 5. So if you work this out a little bit, it's going to be half times the sum of the sides in bracket, 8 plus 10 is 18, multiply 5. Now, if you work this out, this is going to give you 45 centimeters squared. So the area here of this trapezium is 45 centimeters squared. So let's move on to the next question. We've got two pair of questions here, but first let's take the blue trapezium. We need to find the area of each of them. Now, the first trapezium has been flipped upside down. So if you reflip it, you find that the top is going to be 6 and the bottom is going to be 9. And the vertical height between them is 8 centimeters. So using this formula, already we already have it here. So we're going to solve the area. So the area is going to be a half multiply the sum of the vertical height, that is 6 plus 9. And then Multiply it by the vertical height, which is 8. Now, if you simplify further, you're going to have a half times 15 times 8. And if you multiply this, you're going to have 60 centimeters squared. So the area of this blue trapezium is 60 centimeters squared. Okay, now I'm going to draw a line here. Okay, now for this other trapezium, which kind of be flipped um, to the right side, we can immediately see that the top of the trapezium is 4 centimeters and the bottom is going to be 10. And the vertical height is 5. Of course, you know 6 is not the vertical height. In fact, it's a sloping height, so we don't really need it. So I'm going to cancel this out. So the area is going to be a half. Multiply the sum of the vertical side as 4 plus 10. And multiply by the vertical height, which is 5. And so if you simplify for that, you're going to have a half times 4 plus 10 is 14. And 14 times 5. This is going to give you 35 centimeters squared. So the area here is going to be 35 centimeters squared. Now let's move on to another question. Now we have this trapezium on this uh, centimeter grid, and we need to work out the area of each of them. Already we have been given the area for easy calculation. Now, beginning with the first uh, trapezium, we know 
the 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 top parasites are the top one here and the bottom, and we can really uh, work them out because the top is going to be one, two, three, four. So it means uh, it's going to be four centimeters, right? Good. And the other side that's parallel on the bottom, I'm going to count it. The outline. One, two, three, four, five, six. So actually it's going to be six centimeters. And the vertical height, okay, I'm going to calculate it here for you. Um, one, two, three, four. Again, that's just four. So I already have all the information I need to uh, work out the area of this trapezium, which is going to be the area, which is a half, multiply the sum of the parallel sides, that's 4 and 6, the sum of it, and then multiply it by the vertical height, yeah, which is 4. Now, if you work this out, it's going to be a half times 4 plus 6 is 10 times 4. This is going to give us, if you work this out, 20 centimeters squared. So the area of this trapezium is 20 centimeters squared. Pretty easy, right? Okay. Uh, let me put a divide line here to separate this working with the next trapezium. All right. So we have this trapezium on the right. Um, we can really figure out the the sides. The parallel side first. The top is going to be one, two, three, four. So that's four centimeters. And also the bottom parallel line. Let's figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know the bottom is going to be eight centimeters. And then the vertical height. Okay. We can take it up from here, any any of this side, but let me take it up from here. One, two, three, four. So the vertical height is four centimeters. So with all these metrics, we can now calculate the area of this trapezium. So that will be a half times the sum of the parallel side A and B, which is four and eight. And multiply this by the vertical height, which is 4. So let's try simplify this further. So I have here, multiply 4 plus 8 is 12. And multiply the vertical height, which is 4. Now, if you work this out and simplify, you're going to have 24 centimeters squared. So the area here is going to be 24 centimeters squared that was pretty easy right now let's see one more example here we have some questions that seems like not related to this topic but they are in some way we got three uh, shapes on the centimeter grid a rectangle a a triangle b and a trapezium c the first question is we should work out the area of the rectangle A. Now, if you're watching this video, uh, on a previous video in our YouTube channel, you already know that the area of a rectangle is actually given, okay, the area of a rectangle is already given as the length times the width. Now, the length here is 2, and the width is 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's 4. Okay, so that means the area is going to be 2 times 4, and that's going to give you 8 centimeters squared. So the area of rectangle is 8 centimeters squared. And then we come to the second question, second question a triangle. we got to work out the area of the triangle. Now, if again, if you've been following this video, video and all the other videos, you already know that the area of 
a triangle is always giving us the base times the height divided by 2. Now in this case, the base here is 2, so we have here 2, multiply the vertical height, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then divide it by 2, and if you work this out, you're going to have 4 centimeters squared. So the area of this triangle is 4 centimeters squared. And then we come to the third shape, which is the trapezium, what we are already doing in this video. Of course, to find the area of it, we know you're going to use a half, okay? Multiply the sum of the parallel side. Here is 2. And the bottom here, let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you have 6. Then multiply by the vertical height. And this time, we are going to count uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is going to be 4. So let's simplify this further. It's going to be a half times 2 plus 6 is going to be 8 times 4. Now, if you really work this out, you will really find that this is going to give you 16 centimeters squared. So the area of the trapezium C is 16 centimeters squared. So if you like this video, I want you to like, to like, and subscribe.